All right, you guys know what time it is. It's another week of fusing. So yeah, we had a lot of fusions to go through. A lot of, I think, six stars we're gonna get. Now let's see. So for six stars, we got one, two, three, four, five, six. At least I think that's six. Whoops. And we have quite a few five stars. But on a better note is that I'll probably have a lot more by next week because Legendary Summon is supposed to be resetting in four days. Ooh, cannot wait for that because that's going to be perfect. And if you, before you guys think that I bought more, I didn't. I'm still, <laughs> I'm still just casually grinding all of them. All those are from um, NPC quests. And NPC quest actually gives a lot of rubies. It's insane, actually. And if you guys are wondering my progress inside of, you know, NPC quests, I think I believe I'm at 60 right now. And that's also another reason why I'm getting a lot of rubies. All of those are just basically just grinding. Every last free ruby I have is just grinding from that point on. From the last uh, All Out Summon. Let's see. Missions, there we go. Our journey to Weiwei is halfway done. We're almost there. What was the last day I had posted a video? Hmm, I don't know, but I'm pretty sure it's just been like, if I was to put in total, probably eight hour, no, probably like 12 hours max of doing this, if I was to combine all my streams together. And, well, I actually know a lot more than 12 hours. But basically, I've been streaming, you know, and grinding. I've even done, like, just having a loon in the background <laughs> while playing something else on stream. So, yeah, I've been multitasking in my streams as of late. That should have been pretty damn helpful in progressing in a lot of games, actually. So, I've just been doing it more often. But, yeah. This character is finally done. He's plus two. It took me a while to level him. I want to try him out. I'm just need to, I just need to figure out the right gears for him. I'm just not sure what the right gears are going to be for this guy yet. Oh, actually, I can treat him like Kai and bring him into a team because he has no real um, physical stacks. Now you can be my substitute Kai. Okay. So he's pretty safe since people have been telling me to build a hell out Chloe. I've been trying not to build her for the longest and people have been yelling at me to build her and use her. <laughs> okay. She she's being worked on, okay. These skills are done. Can you leave me alone now? <laughs> Like every time I stream a loon, it's literally at least one person will tell me to build Chloe. Let's see. Anywho, let's go into the fusions. <laughs> Enough on that. Oh wait, hold up. Why? Oh, I totally forgot it didn't lock you. So it's probably like five characters we're gonna get. All right, what is this? God damn it, game. Okay, the game's. Also telling me to build Chloe. I'm gonna need the game not to do that. <laughs> I'll use her every now and then. Probably not too often now. Alright, let's see. What else we get? That's you. Alright, now we got two more. I've also just been stacking up on gold as well. I don't want to build this character. Just because I heard like he's a really good like mage. So let's hope we get a six star version of him. Oh no, I think it's still six. I just counted McCree for some reason. And yes, I still call him McCree.
Okay, let's see. What are we getting? Ah, oh, Victoria. Oh yeah, that reminds me. The rebalancings that everybody's been talking about look very interesting. And Victoria was one of them. To where she's going to just be canceling out barriers and shields. Which is going to be fantastic for the new meta that's about to roll in because of Feya. Because Feya is about to get like a monstrous change and I love it. I really hope they go through with it because what Feya is about to get will be like so damn good and it's worthy of a freaking legendary that's for sure uh, I think Kang is also getting a change too and it's gonna make him really good and I think his second skill will be able to target anybody in the back row and front row which is gonna be pretty damn good to be honest if you use Kang and uh, Victoria together no, not uh, Victoria. Kang and uh, Chloe together. You can easily just lock down bosses. Well, except for the Egyptian boss that apparently is immune to every single thing you throw at it. But, you know. You know what I mean. <laughs> oh, we're not getting anything that I really want right now. Come on. Give me something good. Something I would actually use right now. Right now, that is. Most of the looking for duplicates. Not what I'm talking about, but that you, you know, that's fine. <laughs> well, I guess the plus out of this is just getting to know Chloe, I guess. I won't even lie, I like Chloe's design now. Okay. Victoria I'm happy of getting. Just because I know a couple of strats I can use in the arena already. I just can't wait for this legendary uh, summon to, you know, reroll itself. Just so I can just get a whole bunch of more four stars. I could just go ahead and level up. Uh, I don't think I'm going to do a summon this week. I'm going to wait for a new character to come out. And then we're going to do an all-out summon. How about that? We'll probably be up at like 3,000 rubies by then. I mean, the other reason that I'm getting so much is because of PvP, boss battles, tower, especially um, dimensional over here if you want to, you know, start grinding for those. I have not done boss raid yet. I think I just put the characters in and that was pretty much it. Also, do we even have a shop for this yet? No, we don't have a shop, so we're just stacking these up. For no reason right now. Okay, no, I didn't even put in the characters. Okay, let's see. If I remember correctly... Wonder what would happen if I push if I push auto on this. Because one of them, I think, has to cause neutral damage, right? Okay, now I'm thinking of something else. I guess that was the one that we were thinking about. Well, that I was thinking about. We're gonna do this and change you two around. Come on, game. I thought you were better than that. <laughs> Again, thought you were better than that. Come on, keep my stats up. I don't really understand Void Boss too much. Because when I first went in there, it, it looked very, very weird. To me, that is.
Okay. So we're going to choose... Eh, probably not the best team, but you know. Shit. No, I guess that one's going to be a healer. So they got to cancel that out. But I'm pretty sure I'll understand boss. Well, war boss, like, sooner or later. It's just the whole skill management that's confusing the hell out of me right now. I mean, this guy looks pretty sick. I won't even lie. Just like an Odin type character. No, this time I'm just gonna let them do their own thing. Cause I, I kinda wanna see how far we can get without me doing anything. Ow. Yeah, I definitely gonna need a healer in the middle team. I think that's the thing we're suffering from the most is the middle team. Alright, he's gonna start taking all the damage. He's probably gonna die after that. Oh no, he actually didn't die. Okay, he died because... Well, those two died because uh, I don't have anything on him. And plus they're not max level. Yeah, this team is surviving pretty nicely with just Faye over there. I just need it to replace their healer with somebody else. Just because she'll do better over here. Just because this is where the main focus needs to be. Okay. Also, what's this? Didn't even believe I made 3,000 out of that anyway. You know, I noticed nobody uses uh, Faya as their uh, as their leader. I'm gonna do this though. Who should I swap out? It's probably gonna be you. Oh god, I gotta go in there and take her out, don't I? That is a yes. That is a 100% yes. Okay, whoops. Stop looking at. I mean, I feel like I did decently. <laughs> oh yeah, I can plus one you now. I feel like I could make a fr good freeze team with you. Oh well shit. Why? There we go. There's a healer for that one. And as for over here, I'm going to replace that healer with you. Well, no, not crap. Where is... Where'd she go? Auto. Change that. And we're going to do you right here. There we go. This is going to make everything a lot easier. We're going to put, whoops, and also remember this is literally my first time ever, <laughs> well not my first time, first time, but actually building a team for this or trying it out, seriously. I think the first time I went in was just to test it and see what it did. 
and that was basically it. But this is me actually taking it serious. <laughs> As I take everything serious, you know? Alright, let's go. Let's see how you guys do now. I don't know, maybe they'll do better now. I was to say, now with that, she should be killing. I was just about to cure for her second skill. Well, actually her third skill because she is definitely not trying to use that for some reason. There you go. Alright, I, I kind of get it. I was just about to say. Oh god, too late. I hate not being able to see... Okay, I was about to say. Not able to see, like, effects going off. But then again, I'm thinking about, like, HP bars. He's starting to gain more damage as we go. Hey, I did a little bit better. Yeah, I have a feeling once I get that down, it should be pretty easy. Thanks for my reward that I can't use anything on right now. Which I'm guessing the next update is going to be a new character for um, World of Boss. Still need to go, like, do on do a full out PvP session. But I think that'll be when I get Weiwei. Because right now I'm just focused on Weiwei. Then I'm going to aim for the Santa character from PvP. I have way more rubies by the time I finish this. Which should be by the end of today. So yeah. We're progressing pretty, pretty averagely, to be honest. Not too bad, but once Faye gets her, gets her changes, oh my god. Ah, oh, that's going to be amazing. Like, this is just going to be so much sustained with her. It's going to be good in PvP and both PvE. Using her in PvE is the most thing I'm worried about right now. I cannot wait. Especially, I want to see how she performs inside of a... Um, boss battles. That's going to be interesting to see. Actually, while well, I'm at it... Oh yeah, I forgot. This game's doing a whole thing that's really annoying with most other games that they do. They don't give you an actual, like, set of character as helper in, in this game for some reason. I just don't understand it. Like... Is it basically your leader that's just basically people are using? Or is it the character? Okay, I just have a lot of questions. So I'm guessing it's the whole thing that other games do. and just, you know, whoever you put as leader in your party is what they're using. So if I was to change to this. Okay, nope. I guess it's whoever's leader into your first adventure party. I don't know. If that's the way it is, I don't like it. <laughs> I always like to actually go into my, like, you know, 
friend list than just set a helper for everybody to use inside of my you know friend list that's what i always love to do but i hate it when games you know go the other route and just whatever you put as leader inside of <laughs> inside of your team is what people will use not only that there's no reason to have the leader system in the first place in there, since none of the characters actually have leader skills. Unless they actually plan on adding leader skills to the game, which I have not seen or heard of them say anything about it yet. But overall, that's just the thing that I just never got about doing inside of these type of games. But anyway guys, I'll see you guys on the next one. Until then, peace out.